Welcome to my nightmare. Oh man, this is embarrassing. The complete history of film just doesn't exist. Basically, everybody threw that history away. And as collectors like me that jumped into the bins, garbage cans, started collecting stuff. And then when people started saying, hey, what happened to this film? Somebody in the woodwork had it. Let me give you my theory on film collectors of my generation, which is admittedly most collectors. We've handled film for so long that its molecules have become fused with ours. And we've become part film. As a matter of fact, we've become movie monsters. And that's really what film collecting is. One long monster movie. We're all little kids who just love the magic of that image being shot out of a projector and have everyone just sit back and go, oh, amazing. I could give you a list this high of the busts that have been made by the FBI. And for the first time, they're going to jail. The judge said six months and didn't say suspended afterwards. And they hauled me off in handcuffs. They were concerned that we were making videotapes. They don't understand film collectors. A true film collector wants film. They don't want tape. And so here we are exhuming the remains of what was very important and significant that has not been recognized and not been preserved for future generations. Wow. I love the fact that we're all in the fight, the good fight together. Is this a fight you're going to win? No, I don't think so. And yet, if we don't try, then we've lost already. I would say that the greatest thrill in handling all of these archival materials is to have passing through your hands actual history in the making. So it's, it's a thrilling occupation. I preserved it for 50 years, but I'm not gonna be here that much longer. So we have to pass it on to somebody who really does this all the time. Why be like everyone else, you know? Be unique. Be special. special. Send us the therapy bill. 